before we begin, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and now let's get right into it. Palantir Technologies has been a significant player in the tech industry, especially since its public debut in September 2020. Even then, it was clear that the company's future growth would hinge on expanding its commercial sector beyond its traditional government clientele. As we progress into 2024, Palantir is demonstrating various signs of accelerating growth, largely propelled by substantial advancements in its United States commercial sector. This growth is being fueled by the company's artificial intelligence platform, which enables customers to utilize advanced artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities, incorporating the latest large language models within Foundry and Gotham. The growth of the artificial intelligence platform and the United States commercial segment continues to be central to Palantir's investor narrative in 2024, as these are the primary growth engines for the year. A detailed analysis of the first quarter shows that the momentum for the artificial intelligence platform remains strong, and the growth in United States commercial revenue is robust. Additionally, government revenue has reversed its previous trend of slowing growth seen throughout 2023, rebounding from just under 11% year-over-year growth in the fourth quarter to 16% year-over-year growth in the first quarter. However, Palantir's management has highlighted some potential challenges in the sales cycle of the artificial intelligence platform, which we will explore further. Meanwhile, the market is anticipating flawless execution this year, placing significant pressure on the stock to deliver. The United States commercial segment of Palantir continued its strong performance in the first quarter, with the artificial intelligence platform driving significant significant customer growth and accelerating revenue growth on a sequential basis. Management emphasized the momentum of the artificial intelligence platform during this quarter, stating that the United States commercial business is experiencing unprecedented demand driven by the artificial intelligence platform. United States commercial revenue increased by 40% year over year and 14% quarter over quarter to $150 million in the first quarter, accelerating by 100 basis points on a quarter over quarter basis. Although this technically represents a deceleration from 70% year-over-year -year growth last quarter, it came against an extremely weak comparison, with the quarter-over-quarter -quarter growth acceleration more indicative of the first quarter's strength. Management noted that this segment is where they are witnessing the greatest transformation. Palantir added 41 net new customers in this segment, marking a 69% increase year-over-year -year and a 19% increase quarter-over-quarter. -quarter. This accelerated from 55% year-over-year growth in the fourth quarter. Furthermore, customer additions extended beyond the United United States this quarter, with the commercial segment reporting a total of 52 net new additions. Overall, the commercial customer count rose by 53% year-over-year and 14% quarter-over-quarter to 427 customers. The United States commercial sector contributed 41 of the 57 net new additions, or approximately 72%, compared to over 90% of net new additions last quarter. The entire segment still contributed more than 90% of net new additions with international growth. Since its launch just over a year ago, Palantir has continued to see high interest and demand for the artificial intelligence platform, offering developers a free trial to explore and build on the artificial intelligence platform, albeit limited in user size and ontology quantity. Management noted that continued interest in the artificial intelligence platform is loud and clear and provided an update on the progress of the artificial intelligence platform boot camps, stating that they have maintained a high volume of boot camps with over 915 organizations participating to date to meet inbound demand. By February, Palantir had completed 560 boot camps across 465 organizations, adding another 450 organizations in the past five months. Palantir also mentioned that the artificial intelligence platform was aiding in customer conversion and expansion, aligning with trends observed earlier in the year, where management noted that the artificial intelligence platform bootcamps were quickly converting to paying customers or expanding existing customer contracts. United States commercial deals rose 94% year over year to 136, and total contract value increased by 131% year over year in the first quarter to $286 million. Overall, commercial total contract value bookings increased by 187% year-over-year to $505 million, with the United States driving more than half of that. Furthermore, Palantir observed substantial deal cycle compression. For example, a leading utility company signed a seven-figure deal just five days after completing a boot camp. Another customer immediately signed a paid engagement after just one day of their multi-day boot camp, converting to a seven-figure deal three weeks later. Palantir's quarterly deals have accelerated, 
following the launch of the artificial intelligence platform, but a larger proportion of these deals have been on the smaller end, ranging between $1 million and $5 million. Despite the optimism and strong interest in the artificial intelligence platform, Chief Executive Officer Alex Karp highlighted a significant challenge the company faces. Karp explained that Palantir is in the early stages of figuring out how to get customers to buy their product. While they excel at educating customers on what is possible, only a portion of those customers make a purchase. As they improve at this, their numbers are expected to increase, but currently they are not flawlessly executing their sales strategy. While this could be viewed positively given the high interest in the artificial intelligence platform suggesting that Palantir is not closing as many deals as it potentially could, the market is expecting perfection this year, with the anticipation of a beat and raise every quarter. Having a sales model where management is still figuring out how to market and sell the artificial intelligence platform to interested customers while the market demands acceleration sets the stage for potential disappointment if Palantir cannot meet these high expectations. Palantir is also facing challenges internationally, particularly in its European business. International commercial revenue grew by 16% year over year, but declined by 3% quarter over quarter to $149 million due to continued headwinds in Europe and the revenue catch up in the fourth quarter mentioned last quarter. Management further clarified that they are facing headwinds in Europe, which comprises 16% of their business. Europe is moving towards 0% gross domestic product growth over the next few years years, posing a problem for Palantir. Transitioning into a low or no gross domestic product growth environment may continue to pressure customer deal expansion and present challenges to larger deal sizes if budget scrutiny persists. With the first quarter's strong performance and the United States commercial segment remaining robust, the market is anticipating a strong year essentially expecting beat and raises each quarter. Though Palantir's extended valuation for barely 20% year-over-year growth increases downside risk given the international challenges and noted friction in its sales process. Palantir reported $634 million in revenue in the first quarter and guided fiscal quarter two revenue between $649 million to $653 million, an increase of 22.1% year over year at the midpoint. For fiscal 24, management guided revenue of $2,677,000,000 to $2,689,000,000, up 20.6% year over year, with United States commercial revenue of $665,000,000 for at least 45 5% year-over-year growth. This translates to $1,285,000,000 in revenue in the first half and $1,398,000,000 in revenue in the second half. However, analysts expect Palantir to generate $1,414,000,000 in the second half, with fiscal 24 revenue estimates ranging from $2,680,000,000 on the low end to $2,800,000,000 on the high end. This is about 4.4% higher than Palantir's guide, suggesting analysts anticipate business momentum to accelerate each quarter with a beat and a raise, and increased fiscal 24 guidance. Palantir's valuation leaves little to no room for error. Trading at elevated levels compared to artificial intelligence exposed large cap enterprise software stocks with similar top line growth and bottom line margins. For example, Palantir's stock trades at more than 24 times forward sales versus less than 14 times forward sales for ServiceNow, which has been reporting revenue growth of over 24% the last three quarters compared to 17% to 21% for Palantir. Snowflake and Cloudflare trade at 12.9 times and 16.3 times forward sales, respectively. Since the start of 2023, top-tier software has repeatedly struggled to achieve or maintain a valuation above 24 times sales, with most re-rating back to the 16 times level. While investors may argue that Palantir deserves an artificial intelligence premium due to its product suite, it still needs to be valued as a mature company rather than a hyper-growth software as a service as it no longer falls into that category. This is the most expensive Palantir has been on a top-line valuation since November 2021, with revenue growth nearly 30 percentage points slower. Looking ahead, Palantir trades at nearly 89 times forward earnings, non-generally accepted accounting principles, again at its most expensive level in over a year. ServiceNow trades below 55 times forward earnings for 25% earnings per share growth, while CrowdStrike trades similarly to Palantir at 85 times forward earnings. Snowflake and Cloudflare, both not profitable on a generally accepted accounting principles basis, trade far above 100 times forward adjusted earnings. In terms of cash flow, Palantir trades at more than 100 times operating and free cash flow multiples with an operating cash flow margin of 20% and an adjusted free cash flow margin of 
of 23% in the first quarter. ServiceNow trades at less than half of Palantir's multiples despite having a superior margin profile at a 52% operating cash flow margin and a 47% free cash flow margin. CrowdStrike trades at 67 times operating cash flow with a 42% margin, while Snowflake trades below 49 times operating cash flow with a 43% margin. Across the board, Palantir trades at elevated valuation multiples. Whether it be on the top line, bottom line, or on cash flows, not only relative to peers, but also relative to itself, trading at its highest levels or near its highest levels of the past 12 months. Palantir continues to exhibit strong momentum in its United States commercial segment, with first quarter results reflecting this with sequential growth accelerating alongside customer count. While demand for the artificial intelligence platform remains elevated and a core driver of Palantir's growth, management highlighted a challenge in that there is friction in selling the product, a key risk to watch moving forward as the market is looking for nothing short of perfection through the end of fiscal 2024. In the end, Palantir Technologies has been expanding its commercial sector since before its public offering, emphasizing the United States commercial segment driven by the artificial intelligence platform as a significant growth driver. In the first quarter, Palantir saw strong revenue growth in both its United States commercial and government segments, with a significant contribution from the artificial intelligence platform. The company continues to face challenges in selling the artificial intelligence platform despite high demand and numerous boot camps aimed at customer education. Internationally, particularly in Europe, Palantir is facing headwinds due to low gross domestic product growth, which may affect deal expansions. The market is pricing in high expectations for Palantir, with elevated valuation multiples compared to peers, creating potential risks if the company cannot meet these expectations throughout the year. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.